hello guys you're welcome back to this channel if you are yet to subscribe make sure you do now because we give value right here have you ever wondered why fulani women have a long beautiful hair fulani women in nigeria have been meticulous about the health of their hair for many years and have used a variety of different apps from bushes in the forest the fuller of fulani people of africa are nomads and the women are known for their long, beautiful hair because they take a lot of pride in it. Fulani, also called Fulbe tribe, are scattered throughout many parts of Africa, mostly um, in the West Africa, from Lake Chad in the east to the Atlantic coast. They are concentrated primarily in Nigeria, in Mali, in Guinea, Senegal but can also be found in several other countries. Hence, they are one of the world's largest nomadic group. Air has played a significant role in the culture of ancient African civilizations, and so have um, Fulani Brits. This tribe has a highly rich culture, and they are known to put up a stunning appearance. In the olden days, um, Fulani women keep a long hair as an indicator of their wealth, their social status, their marital status, and religion. Um, the more it was decorated with beads and shells, the higher the status of the Fulani woman. A lot of people have argued that Fulani women got their long hair from genetics and nothing more. But is it really genetics? Um, we would have solely relay on this assumption if there are no other black women these days who once had a short scanty air and now have a waist length air. Some of these black non fulanese do not have parents or grandparents with long air. Um, but what happened is that they eventually got it right with their hair. I do believe that genetics is a factor. However, I am more confident in the belief that it is a lot more than genetics. If your genetics favors you to have a long, beautiful air, and you do not follow the Ten Commandments of Afro Air, which I have made a, a full video about, you will continue to lose all the air you are growing, and the length of your air will be stuck in a particular length forever. I am sure that for the Fulani women, genetics may be 40% and their air care and routine takes 60%. Let me know of what you think about this analysis. Well, this is my stand because length retention equals air growth. So let's see the routines of some of these Fulani women. Um, one thing the Fulani women do not miss out in their air care routine is moisture which is the most important aspect of air care. Many of the local Fulani women do not have access to moisturizers and expensive products. What they do is to improvise. Here is a Fulani woman using manchano, that is kaugi, in preparation for her air treatment. So what they just do is to mix kaugi and some herbs and then paste this on their hair and let it sit on their air for a long time. They either mix the herbs with some oils or butter, such as uh, manchano, which is cow ghee, or shea butter. So what they do is to apply this mixture all over the strands of the hair and thereby put the hair in protective styles afterwards. So this is just some of the commandments of natural air. Um, once the air is freshly washed and it has been deep conditioned and moisturized, the next thing is to, of course, seal the moisture into the air and then put the air in protective style. So this is just the routine. And you know what? The Fulani women are getting it right. If you live in Nigeria, you must have come across women like this at a point in your life. I mean, Fulani women with calabash on their head claiming to sell a air growth miracle. Of course, we believe them because they have a beautiful long air and then we buy it. <laughs> but the question is, is this thing they sold to us truly a air growth miracle? Like, is this what they use to grow their air overnight? No, this is usually a combination of some cloves, some hemp seed, um, some shebe, and, you know, just some 
um, really good apps that can help to nourish the scalp and the air. It is nothing supernatural. I remember buying this then and, you know, applying it on my scalp directly. And my scalp was literally on fire. Like it was itching me terribly bad. And um, I later realized that these herbs sold by those women should be infused into a butter or an oil just like you are seeing so it is not a supernatural herb that will grow the air overnight you have to infuse it into a butter and use it the appropriate way look at how the Fulani women use the herbs what they do is to infuse the herbs into any oil that they lay their hands on or um Shmashano. then they take down their braids and remoisturize their hair from the root to the ends you can also do this at home by using any oil of your choice it could be sunflower it could be coconut oil then you can just add a spoon or so of the herbs into the oil and let it infuse for a week or two or you can use the double boiling method as that is a faster process and then um, after this, you can go ahead to sieve out the chaff from the oil. Do not forget to sieve out the chaff. So you can't add this directly on your scalp, even if you add it to a butter. I would prefer that you sieve out the chaff so as not to irritate your scalp. And then the result is a long, beautiful air. That's it. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.